Mark Rose here, Sure Leave 30, Autograph Magazine. The man does not need to be introduced, but yes, I will. It's the very good-looking Mr. Malcolm McDowell. How are you, sir? I like that introduction. <laughs> I'm very well, thank you. Good. You look great. Thank you, you. You're such, as they say, a seasoned actor. You're an icon in our in our history. And I'm an old actor, <laughs> but um, I've been around the block a bit. Yes, sir. Yes, but, sir. But um, you've got a luckily, great. Luckily, I'm still I'm still here. Yes, still yes. working. Well, we love seeing you at conventions now. Coming up, our yeah. friend Chris Rowe mm -hmm. brings you out to conventions. We've known Chris a little while now, and right. I know there's a, a, a bio and things written about you. But what I want to ask for my readers and fans, mm -hmm. and I'll start from your words. How did you get the acting bug? How did you get your start in, in the field, sir? Oh, um, well, I, I go, it goes back a long, long time. <laughs> but um, when I was at school, which was a public school, which you call a private school yes, sir. here in America, um, you know, they had a production every year of a Shakespearean play and then, and also at Christmas, uh, uh, what we used to call a pantomime, which was a, um, a musical musical comedy or whatever and I got cast um, to play Aladdin in Aladdin and right. then I went on to play in all the great Shakespeare yes. plays that there are I think I don't know how many years I was at the school but I certainly must have done at least eight to ten full-fledged Shakespeare Fantastic. productions which was great yes yeah. my god so I always thought, well, when I left school, I could always uh, fall back on acting if everything else failed, and of course it did. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know you're such a great actor in so many roles, and and uh, my column's called The Sci-Fi Scene, and, and we write mm -hmm. a lot about nostalgia, sci-fi, horror. You've done a lot in that realm, in that genre. Sort of, a yeah. A little bit. I mean, mm -hmm. you did the, the Generations. Uh, you were Dr. Soren. That's right. Uh, that was an outstanding role. So you've touched the Trectum for the fans that are definitely into Trectum. Well, I'm the one who, of course, got rid of Kirk. Yes, the only one that we know that really got rid of Captain Kirk. <laughs> Aren't we relieved at that? <laughs> um, although I must say, I, I, Bill Shatner's a friend, and he's a very amusing man. Yes. And um, <laughs> not to be taken too seriously. Okay, right. Very well put. As very he said, good. yeah, you shot me in the back. <laughs> well, I can only do what the script says, That's Bill. right. You got to do what they do. I mean, I'd you. love to have kicked you in the teeth. You know. <laughs> but um, I'm bound by what these uh, writers tell me to yes, do. Indeed. Yes, um, indeed. And the iconic Clockwork Orange, how was yeah. that? And how was it working with Stanley Kubrick, sir? Well, we, we only have 10 minutes here, so we, okay. we don't have too long. And we're down to like six, right? Right. So, um, well, Stanley, you know, was um, one of the most amazing directors I think that's ever lived. So if you look, I think Stanley, what sets him apart from every other director is that he uh, attempted a film in pretty much every genre. I mean, he did horror, science fiction. He did... Uh, Military. Yeah. Fantasy, oh romantic. I mean, he did absolutely. He covered everything, which I don't. I honestly can't think of another director. I mean, there are, of course, great, great directors like John Ford, who I put at the very pinnacle. But you know, he, he you always knew it was a John Ford film, and um, of course, he's known mo mostly for his westerns. He did other great films, of course, but um, I think Stanley was very unique in that. Um, he managed to cover so many genres of films, yes, sir. and that was pretty. And he had a tremendous intellect. And he was a very smart man and a brilliant chess player. I never ever um, played chess with him. <laughs> I managed to For avoid fear, that. Right, okay. <laughs> I, I thought he was my director. I didn't need any more humiliation. <laughs> but I did manage to play ping pong with him, and he never managed to beat me at that. Uh -huh. So every time. Good. I would say, ping pong, Stanley, do we have time? <laughs> <laughs> That's Thrash. outstanding. Right and he'd, on. he'd try and intellectually <laughs> figure it out, you know, come in with some other ridiculous shot, like a big Chinese, uh, <laughs> throw it high, and I just wait, and boom, <laughs> slam. <laughs> back, I love to see that. Uh, yeah, back oh. to the drawing board, Stan, <laughs> on that one. <laughs> good for you. That's a mm. fantastic story. Yeah, he's a good man. He was man. a very good man. Uh, Great. Had a, a and wonderful. you got to work, and you were excellent in that role, sir. That, mm. that, I well, mean, that's another iconic film it is. that fans are buzzing about downstairs now mm. is Clockwork Orange. 
Amazing. Outstanding. It's only 40 years old. So. Only. <laughs> See, and you don't look a day over 29. That's right. So. <laughs> just dye my hair get right back into it. <laughs> now, you also did, I just want to touch on one more one more film. You've done so many. Yeah. But Time After Time was um, one of the first things I think you did uh, here in America um, with uh, Mary mm-hmm. Steenburgen, and it was just uh, playing H.G. Uh, Wells with right. a time machine chasing Jack the Ripper. How mm-hmm. was that for you? That was such a good role. I love that part. It's um, one of the few kind of hero-type parts that I played. You know, they don't often give them to me, so I was very happy to do it and let David Warner take the heavy for a change. Yes. Normally, I would have played that part. So I was right. thrilled <laughs> that, it, that he had that creepy part to yes, play. Yes, he did. <laughs> and he was wonderful in it, too. Good, um, good. And Mary was fantastic. And I always like to say it's one of my favorite films because I got two children out of it. Yes, you did. And, yes, you um, did. really can't say yes. much better than that about That's a film. That's true, and, yes. Uh, very good. Do you she keep in I, touch with Mary right now? I do, I do. We, we live in the same town, in fact, still, and a um, small town. So I get to see her and Ted a lot, you know. Um, and, of course, we've still got the interest of the two children, That's although it. they're not babies anymore. They're right. in the what mid- ages are they, sir? They're in the mid-20s now. Okay, fantastic. Mm. Very good. My son's 28, so, yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. very good. Outstanding. Yeah. Now, I uh, want to touch on uh, just two more things, and we'll wrap this mm-hmm. up. Um, heroes, you, um, Linderman, uh, mm-hmm. you know, my God, there's a lot of fans here that love that sci-fi series, Heroes, mm-hmm. and I hear there may be some more things in store, so what can you tell us that is or is not allowed to be said about your role in Heroes, sir? I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not wearing this for nothing. <laughs> I'm back. It's, Good. it's a slightly different character than the one I played before. Um, um, because I don't think that um, this Linderman is a real person. I think he's a, either a spirit or a godly figure wow. or possibly the other side of that. Wow. Wow. I don't know. He's certainly not a live human being with flesh and blood, although he looks it. Yes, but sir. Um, things seem to pass right through him. Outstanding. Very but I don't think I can say any more than that. No, but, very yeah. good. We followed it, so, I mean, yeah, we're fans. So. It, it's, uh, and it's an amazing deception of stuff. And you think that I may be his conscience, or maybe not, wow. and then it's actually, I'm, um, it's all revealed by um, episode eight. Okay. It's, we a, will bi- it's a big episode, that. that one. I'm on six, I think. Okay, great. I haven't finished six yet. And Good then, deal. Yeah. Fantastic. We yeah. look forward to it. Yeah, it's a great show. It's back to its original. Um, it's kind of lost its way a bit last time. Yes, sir. So, so they said. I mean, well, they did I, need you back. That's I say fine. that because I wasn't in it. But, uh, <laughs> That's right. That's why <laughs> but the truth is, um, yes. I, the writing is spectacular. Good. The cast, my God. Yeah, the, good people. <laughs> excuse me. Yeah, the um, a, a wonderful um, girl that I work with, and she's fantastic. Of course, Adrian Pazda of course. and uh, Ali, um, sure. they're great. You know, we know, we know about that. Outstanding. Yeah. Good, very yeah. good. Mm. Now, for you um, coming out to conventions, um, I know our friend Chris Rowe brings you out. Yeah, he twists my arm. Yes, he twists your arm to meet the fans and sign for fans. Yeah. But because I'm with Autograph Magazine, mm-hmm. how is it for you meeting fans, interacting, and signing that autograph to them? What's your take on all that? It's a pain in the ass. <laughs> I gotta come all the way across the country to sign a few bloody pictures. <laughs> I mean, I love it. seriously, it's yes. a pain in the ass. Yes, indeed. Uh, but but you know, it, it's I don't do too many of these, you know. Right. So when I do them, it is nice to occasionally meet the people that actually go see the work yes, because sir. you know, otherwise you live in a bit of a bubble, you know. Right. I mean, I've got another young family and I'm pretty much at home the whole time sure with with my young kids so I never really get to meet the fans so occasionally it's very nice and they're very respectful generally speaking <laughs> right and yes, um, yes. generally you know, they are good, good yeah fans. They're you're gonna get a few fantastic. that are I've never had that to good, be honest uh, I've I done uh, I've done four or five of them now and Great. Um, I've only met really nice people actually. Outstanding. Very nice. And I think people that come to these things 
you know, it's a bit of an effort for them too, and it costs yes, them money, and you know, yes, so they have to be real fans, and they have to be really interested, and and, and I think they are. Great. And are you a collector of anything, sir? I mean, I know these. I'm a collect huge autographs. collector, but but it doesn't. What uh, things do you enjoy? I collect um, tin toys. I'm old American tin toys. Wow. So I've got like a big collection. Some of the old robots and things like no, that. No, I'm old... talking 1870s, oh, 1880s. Wow. I'm talking about the first toys Fantastic. that were made in America. They're called hill climbers. You, you friction toys. You run like that. Oh my God! So you collect those. So I collect those. I've not bought one of those though for about eight or nine years now because I've, I think I've sort of got them all. And you know, I made the mistake of buying someone's collection. And that was a big mistake because I used to love going and finding one. That's the treat of it, I think, too. That is the treat. Yes, and if you buy a collection, then you have them. You and have it. You can say, oh, look at my collection. People go, hmm, yeah. They're all pretty much the same, aren't they? And no, no, this is slightly and different color here. And you see this sure. is another thing. But if you have a story with things that you've collected, yeah. It's way better to collect them. You yes, don't, sir. Don't ever do that and make that mistake. And I, I collect with my wife. We're both avid collectors. Wherever I go to shoot a movie, we always look yellow pages, antique shops, and folk oh, art, sandy. and yes. um, we're running out all the time. <laughs> we're looking for American folk art, okay. ooh, which is really what I collect now the most. Very good. And I just adore American folk art, but it's getting so expensive. Yes, sir. It's crazy, yes, sir. crazy it prices. Is. Hundred grand, three hundred. Oh they, my I mean, God, you're talking real expensive for things. It's that's taken the fun out of it. Yes, sir. I mean, it's sort of uh, it's. No fun to go and, you know. Sure. You know. Have you tried, like, flea markets, garage sales that oh. might have a few little things that you never know? They might not know what they have. Yeah, uh, that may have worked 20, 30 years <laughs> but ago. But not now. Yeah, people are wise now, I think. Mm. Yes, they sir. know. They know. They yeah. do. But you can find the odd little thing, yes, which sir. is fun. Yeah. Outstanding. That mm. sounds like a great hobby. It and is. What do you like to do besides that for fun uh, with your family? What else do you enjoy, sir? Well, I'm a golfer. So no, no more need be said. There you go. Thank I'm a golfer, you. and I would rather shoot in the high 60s, and I'm serious about this, than win an Academy Award for Best Actor. Unbelievable. Any day of the week. Well said. Because uh, I'm a man of a certain age, and to do that would be my ambition. I got to 73. I've got to 74. It's just getting those last few strokes. That's really tough. Yes, sir. Fantastic. So that's what I'm trying to do. Good. good to hell with you. the acting. I could care less about that. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Um, for you professionally, what would you like me to put and in, include in the magazine that you've got projects coming up? What would you like me to say for readers and fans? Say whatever you want. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back on Heroes and, right on. and have loads of movies. I'm going off, rushing off as soon as I've done... Um, does you leave here this weekend? Or? Uh, I've got to go back. I'm shooting uh, on Monday. I'm doing Heroes Monday. Okay. Then um, I'm going up to uh, Spokane. I'm shooting a movie with my daughter. Actually, she's in it. Fantastic. So I'm very happy about that called Pound of Flesh. And then we're supposed to be making what, Vivaldi, this saga of this film, which has wow. been on the books for three years. Right. I don't know where that's going to go. Um, but there's um, a Thomas Mann novella called Mario and the Magician, and that's the one I really want to do. And Good. we're supposed to be shooting that with uh, Jonathan Rhys Meyers, uh, the guy from um, uh, um, Sebastian yes, Koch, yes, is the guy of from that He's movie. Been in many, many things. Yes, sir. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. And um, if you could collect an autograph from anyone that you would like, just because mm -hmm. we're autograph magazine, who would you? Want Alive to or dead. Either. Your choice. Well, if it's going to be another actor, Anyone which I would never ask an actor for his autograph because I have no interest, really. But if there was one, it would be James Cagney. Fantastic. And if there's one other person, Anyone, right? it would be Winston Churchill. Outstanding. Very good answer. Thank you. Thank you so much for the interview, Pleasure. sir. Okay.